Hey guys, it's Max2003 here, back at it again with a special video. So today I just got hold of the new MacBook Pro 15 inch with the touch bar and today I'm going to unbox it and review it for you guys. Let's start. So here it is here. If we flip it over. You can see there it says it is a 15 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar, space grey, Intel Core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM and the Radeon Pro 455. Okay, so let's open this. So you might not be able to see but there is some plastic surrounding it. So we are going to cut open it. There we go. Okay, so we've got the plastic off. And there it is, the MacBook Pro. Okay, so let us open it now. It's very heavy. There it is. So of course you've got the Apple logo here and the Space Grey MacBook. We'll pull this tab up. Okay, so let's unwrap the plastic. There it is. So I'll just push that off to the side for a moment while we look at the rest of the box. As you can see in here, there is the charging cable. And this is a, a USB-C cable to USB-C. So as you can see here, it says MacBook Pro and little diagrams to show you about the laptop. Safety and warranty information and of course, Apple stickers, white Apple stickers. And so of course is plastic surrounding this as well. That's the USB-C connection in there. And that is the box entirely. Okay, so when we open it up, you'll see the screen and let's put that in the middle. And it powers on just like that. Okay, and of course then you have to set it up. You can see here, I can really feel the, uh, the Force Touch keypad, which is humongous, very, very big. It's about the size of my hand, so it is humongous. So it's many hours later. Now we're finally starting to properly set up the MacBook Pro. And in that time, I've got a pretty good feel of how it is. It's a very fast computer and a very nicely designed computer as well. It's very responsive and I find the touch bar fun to use, although others might not agree with me. So here we are on the desktop and as you can see here, look at this humongous trackpad. It is probably just a little bit smaller than my hand. We've got this new keyboard here, very small keys and anywhere you tap on the keys, they click. And I've also got one individual LED per key, so they're all evenly lit. In the new MacBook Pro, Apple introduced the second generation butterfly switch. This is the touch bar over here. You can see you've got the escape key always there. And you can always access these few keys here, which you can customize in Finder and in System Preferences. Spotify is a good app to show for the touch bar because you can press the play and next track and previous track buttons, as well as shuffle and your search keys and lots of other things as well. The speakers in the new MacBook Pro are amazing. They're really, really loud and they do some very good bass. Let's listen to some music. Later. Very loud. That was very loud. Apart from truffle pigs, the pig is the only farm animal not useful to humans when up. So you can see here the speakers are very loud and the screen is a very good quality uh, when playing back videos on the MacBook Pro. Apple's editing software Final Cut Pro works really well on the new MacBook Pro. 
When you have very detailed timelines, you can see here that you can see the whole timeline and you can change the view and you can zoom in or zoom out and you can also see where you're scrubbing in the timeline as well, which is pretty cool. You can also change your tool that you're using, so at the moment I'm on the cursor tool, but you could change it to the blade tool or any other tool that you need while you're editing. And there are many other shortcuts in the touch bar. And you can see here the specs of the MacBook Pro, which are pretty good. You can see we've got an Intel Core i7, 2.7 gigahertz, uh, Intel HD graphics, as well as a Radeon Pro 455 for graphics. A really good resolution for a screen and 16 gigabytes of RAM. In conclusion, the 2016 MacBook Pro with the touch bar is a really good laptop. It is a bit hard to get all your devices to USB-C, which is a bit of a, a downside to the MacBook Pro. And the touch bar is at times a little bit useless because some apps don't support it yet and you do have to look away from the screen to be able to use it. Otherwise, it is a very good laptop and it most certainly is future-proof as USB-C is the future and I think a lot of pro users will be able to enjoy using the MacBook Pro. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and share this video and post a positive comment or video idea underneath the description and don't forget to subscribe to Max 2003 You'll get updates when new videos are live and it's hassle free, worry free and best of all, free of charge. This is Max 2003 signing out. And that's a wrap. God, 15 minutes and 5 seconds. Eh? Hi guys, so this is a professional microphone here by um, and the professional film photographer guy behind holding it. Description and don't forget to subscribe to Max 2003. Uh, what else was I saying? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> What is so funny? <laughs> sorry. Yep, yeah, sorry. Okay, hang on. Oh no, I can't remember. You have to look back on it. You said something really weirdly. So, sorry, I can't remember. Okay. <laughs>